quickly before we start this week's video, um, I did give the GoPro to Clayton and the boys at Adventure 4x4 uh, so that they could film the build for us. Um, they did get some footage that you'll see shortly. Either one of my greatest or worst ideas ever. We're only heading to Preston, but I'm very worried about that uh, solar panel up there. But um, yeah, I guess by the time this video airs, we'll know the solar panel survived. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Clayton, if you're watching, I know you'll be nervous too. We finally got down here to Preston Beach. It's just going on dark. Um, yeah, the Ranger, it's obviously a lot heavier and turns out a lot harder to handle in this uh, soft sand down here. But I'll get used to that. Uh, I dropped down to 20 PSI all around just to give me a good gauge of where I'm at. But yeah, it's the first time I've had to use four low as much as I have in the last 5Ks up the beach. Uh, it was a bit hairy there for a minute because yeah, the seaweed and the high tide line is pretty high compared to the last time we were here. Um, and to be honest, I thought I was gonna be stuck in the drink. And funnily enough, the tractor recovery guy was passing us heading out as we come in. So I don't know if he would have been too keen to turn around and come back if 
she went south but yeah being so late guys i was hoping to do um a rundown give us a full rundown of the setup uh tonight but um i'm hoping praying that the weather's still good tomorrow morning um get a bit of a fish in and do the review then but yeah i don't think i'll be doing too much fishing um we camped in the first dugout we could find which you know spacious enough um but yeah it's right in front of the seaweed and it's not only all over the beach it is out there where the breakers are breaking on the sandbank there so yeah i don't know we'll see how we go in the morning um, i'll get up early and throw a line in but yeah kind of bummed i was hell keen for a fish but we'll see what happens James Baroud, top notch. Got up, tried to go for a fish, but um, I don't know if you can see it. The uh, beach is just riddled with weed, uh, and it's, yeah, still all the way out there. So um, I'm not having any luck getting out there past it. I've had four casts and I've broken four bloody rigs. Snagged straight away on the weed. Lost me hooks, lost me sinkers. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to have to go and buy more sinkers. So, unfortunately, there's no fish for breakfast. <laughs> Uh, we can't even have pancakes because I forgot to bring the gas for the gas cooker. Um, so we ended up cooking chicken in the Jaffa line, which got stuck. And uh, yeah, made sandwiches with a bit of cheese. To be fair, it turned out bloody great. But um, yeah. I can't believe I forgot the gas. So, anyway. Alrighty guys, um, just give you a quick rundown of what we got on the rig now. Um, so, straight away you will see that uh, 2000 watt um, pure sine wave inverter from Red Arc. We've got the BMS Manager 30 in there um, and the Red Vision. So that now powers our full setup, the fridge, got the kettle, the travel buddy, uh, and charges. We'll um, add a few more things as we go. Uh, we're running two Dometic uh, fridges. This is the 75 litre, and I've got the 55 litre in the uh, back seat. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, you can never have uh, enough cold storage. So the freezer and the fridge for the food and beverages. Um, up top, as you'll see, got the James Baroud. Um, yeah, it's the James Baroud Explorer. First night in it last night. Um, and I've got to say, yeah, it's definitely worth the money. Um, enough room for myself and Christy. Um, and it is surprisingly comfortable uh, with that 50 mil foam mattress. So a little bit worried we're gonna have to get another mattress, but yeah, I'm glad we didn't. So yeah. In here we've got the uh, kitchen. So obviously all the food stuff, dry storage, ARB cargo bags, keeps everything kind of organized once we figure out what we really need and what we don't need. Travel buddy, marine oven, 
still haven't um, used it yet, but when we go up north uh, in October, we uh, definitely have that running to the race while we're driving, so it should be good. Little 1800 watt kettle uh, saves us a ton of time uh, boiling water because the way we used to do it, it just take too long. Around the back here, um, got the Mitz Alloy jerry can holder ladder. Keep the spare tyre here and the Max Tracks holders. Um, I did originally want to put the Max Tracks on the roof rack, but uh, with the 180 watt solar panel and everything else up there, there's just no room. So, because we're running the 70 litre underwater tank as well. Um, we've only got the 600 mil trundle, but yeah, and just keep tools, tie downs, fly spray, that'll come in handy when we're up north, but yeah, works well so far. Upgraded the tow bar, got um, Heyman Reese X bar. Uh, rated recovery points so on this side I did have the uh, 1500 mil I oh, know I mean 1200 mil drop shelf in here from mitts but yeah didn't have enough clearance to put uh, the camp chairs and everything else that we wanted to carry the aqua cube for the hot showers so I ripped that out as soon as we got it, but just more drawers. Um, can never have enough storage, I guess. Stone pan, pots and all that sort of stuff. So, and in this one, that's where we keep the first aid kit. Always gonna have one of these guys. Never know when you might need it. Snake bite kit that we um, thankfully haven't had to use yet. And um, I got a floodlight from Bunnings, which for, I think it was 89 bucks, actually does pay for itself because I haven't got work lights on here yet. Um, and yeah, even last night, come in handy. Around in here, we've got the two Red Arc um, 100 amp hour batteries, so we're running uh, well, obviously 200 amp hours, which gives us enough enough battery storage to power us for quite a while, really. Um, should be good. Up here, kick-ass shower tent um, for the price of it and the size of it. Uh, I definitely recommend getting one. It uh, works really well. Running the Clevy uh, tile mirrors. Uh, they've got the compact ones out now, but definitely wanted to keep with the original original look and uh, feel so power fold uh, and obviously the indicators as well so we're running five Cooper tires uh, ST maxes uh, these are the 165 yeah. uh, and the dynamic rims with a 30 offset so I want to get a sixth one, but unfortunately, I can't get um, another dynamic rim in Australia at the moment with the 30 offset. So that's disappointing. But I've got the GBM upgrade um, with the old man EMU nitrous shocks in here. Uh, that brings our GBM up to 3,500 kilos um, and the two inch lifts. So. No, and it works well, rides well, um, a lot better than the stock suspension on here. But yeah, definitely worth the money. TJM, Outback Bull Bar, and the steady uh, hexagonal Bull Bar mount for the fishing rod holder. Got the 12,000 pound winch, or 12,500 pound winch underneath and running the Type-X Pros 
and the steady lot bar on the roof. Once we got everything on, just got the XTM high lift jack um, and the Rhino rack shovel, uh, Rhino rack mounts obviously, um, all on the Pioneer uh, roof rack and obviously got the mounted solar panel on top so yeah it's good gives us a lot of power um, and is gonna get us everywhere we're gonna want to go so I want to shout out to the boys at Adventure 4x4 um, for getting everything fitted the mitts alloy tray canopy wiring everything up and um, doing the suspension thanks again guys I hope you enjoyed this week's video uh, we are now stocking merch so hit us up on Instagram or Facebook um, if you guys are keen to get a shirt. We are getting um, hats and beanies um, and looking at stubby holders as well. So stay tuned. Again, thanks for the support. Please like, subscribe and comment. Um, all the support helps and helps us move forward with the channel. Thanks guys.